And then there were eight students today and a toilet snake. Hey everybody, I'm Tony Masillis. This is Irregularly Scheduled Programming. Well, we're now 77 days away from the Iowa GOP caucus, which is the official primary election kickoff. Today, we learned that at least one of the nine Republican contenders won't be in the running. Hello YouTube, this is Sam Brownback. Kansas Senator Sam Brownback will drop out as early as Friday. That's according to the AP. Brownback got a lot of support from Christian conservatives, but it was not enough. Too bad the world won't get to meet Brownback Girl. We are living in a sinful world, and I am a Brownback Girl. Obama Girl cannot hold a candle to that. Well, there are links to more 2008 updates on our blog. That's cbsnews.com slash ISP. Well, this has been the top video online for about a week. It's called A Vision of Students Today. A cultural anthropologist surveyed 200 students at Kansas State University on their habits and their lifestyle, and some of the results were surprising. He's in a plastic bag, what do I do now? And I said, get him out of the plastic bag, get him into a pillowcase and get him to me. All right, this is one of those urban legends that I cannot believe is actually true, but it is. A Brooklyn woman went into her bathroom and found a seven foot python in the toilet. Even her husband didn't believe it. Looked at me like, sure, <laughs> you know, that's the last one you have. You know? But it was for real. A pet store called Woofs and Whiskers is keeping the snake until a home can be found. Turns out it belonged to a neighbor. Well, pythons are illegal in New York, so he's going to face some steep fines. And finally, from Raw Story, if you want to boost morale around the office, just drop the F-bomb like a hammer at a game of whack-a-mole. A new study says workplace profanity helps people let off steam, and it fosters a more open environment. So see what I'm talking about, guys? It's, it's for your own good. Well, that's all for today. I'm Tony Masillis. Now get back to work. That's right, cause the senator from the state of Kansas is Mr. Religious Right.